Hello everybody. In this video I'll be showing you all how to make uh, a small school bus uh, in Minecraft. Um, and yes this does uh, have its own interior. Um, so basically if you wanted to make like the actual like small like little Chevy school buses or if you didn't want to make my ginormous very complicated school bus then you know you could do this. This is like a another uh, another version you know it's not as uh, not as not as, uh, not as, um, it's easier to make, basically. I don't know why I couldn't think of what I was trying to say, but anyways, let's get on with this. So, material list should be up on the screen right about now. Uh, be sure to pause and get what you need. Uh, but anyways, let's begin. Uh, once you grabbed everything. Alright, so first off, we're gonna just grab pretty much everything at the top row here. Um, just top row stuff here. So, um, first things first, of course, I mean, if you've watched my old, my car tutorials before, you should already know, we always start with black concrete and blackstone slab in front of it, and also behind it, just like this, all right? Extend left or right by two, whichever side, you know, works best for you, and then extend the other side back by one with a black concrete and also a blackstone slab, then you can connect and fill in the middle, all right? And then you want to put, you want to extend this back by three, except you want to extend out by one on the sides, so left and right by one. Then you want to extend those slabs you extended out backwards by three. So that's one, two, three. And again, be sure to fill in the middle as well, because again, there's going to be an interior. All right, black concrete at the end with two blackstone slab coming out, just like so. Then again, just um, fill that in there. And there you go. So that's the base of the bus. All right, now come to the front of the bus here, you want to put smooth basalt, which I know is weird, you know, it's kind of a random material, um, or an odd material, but it's just meant to look kind of like the grill, all right, and then you can just put, uh, quartz stairs, uh, facing into the, into there like so, and then you just want to put yellow carpet on top, so these are going to be the headlights, that's what those are meant to be, headlights, and then the middle is obviously, like I said, the grill, all right, uh, and then behind this, you just want to put, uh, yellow concrete, uh, you want to do um, one row there, but then you want to extend, actually, I think you just want to do one row back, right? Yeah, so you want to do two rows of red concrete going back, except this last row here, you want to extend the sides up by one, um, and then here in the front, you want to just do a row of light gray stained glass pane, and then put yellow carpet on top of the glass, and then you also want to put black concrete on top of this, and extend left and right, or sorry, no, you don't extend left and right, sorry, you want, well, you do extend left and right, but it's with the black stone stairs. So that's what you want to do for the top, just like that. Kind of looks like a dog, which is kind of weird. <laughs> All right, so now well, what you want to do is, let me see. I don't know if uh, we actually fill in the corner here. It doesn't look like we do. Okay, so basically you want to put uh, two yellow concretes here at the corners, just like so. Leave a gap, uh, so on this side you want to leave a gap of one, but on the other side you just want to go ahead and put yellow concrete all the way through. Uh, because obviously this side's going to have the door on it, so. Uh, and then the rest of this you can just extend all the way over, and then extend uh, in the back, you want to extend inward by one. Alright, and then with the yellow concrete, you basically just want to leave a gap of one from the previous red, so from this yellow concrete, leave a gap of one, yellow concrete, gap of one, yellow concrete. At the back, you basically just want to have um, this, so you want to leave gaps of uh, ones here as well. And then you want to do gaps of ones on the other side, and then you should have an even amount of windows where this is where you obviously you can fill in. Um, and except for here, obviously, because again, that's where the door is going to go. Um, at the back here, uh, you want to do, um, like, so this is kind of weird. So it's supposed to be like the windows and also the emergency exit. I didn't want to put an actual door. I mean, I suppose you guys can if you want to, but I, for some reason, just chose not to do that. So you want to have glass pane here, here, and here. And then you want to have just a glass block in the middle. That's, I know, it's a bit weird, but it's meant to be kind of the emergency exit door. Um, on the ends here, you want to have the stairs, the uh, blackstone stairs, and then black concrete in the middle. Um, on the sides here, just between the blackstone, oops, uh, between the blackstone stairs, you want to have quartz stairs, just like so. Um, and then, what else can we do? We could also, I think that's actually all we can do with these materials. Oh, well, except for the blackstone stairs. So... Alright, so we're going to go ahead and kind of do the interior of the bus. So the blackstone stairs just want to go, or actually, was it blackstone or was it... Oh, it was blackstone. Oh, okay, wait, so actually the inside, okay. So actually go ahead and tear out, like, the inside of the bus like this. 
So just these three rows alone, uh, everything else go ahead and leave. Uh, we're going to put stone slab there, which I, of course, don't have on me. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. So put away your yellow carpet, because I don't think you'll need that anymore. I don't think you'll need any of these. Well, except for those stairs. I know for sure you'll need that. Grab a uh, stone slab, and then go ahead and fill in the inside of the bus with stone slab, because uh, I wanted the bus to, on the inside to kind of have a different flooring. And obviously, a lot of buses have these, like, rough gray flooring, so that's why I have the stone slab. All right, there we go. So now, now you can put the polished black stone stairs um, wherever. Uh, so you want to put them just where you have a window, basically. So obviously you don't want to put it in front of the door because then you can't get in the bus. <laughs> so yeah, you want to have the stairs just where you have a window. Um, so yeah. And then next, what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and put these materials away. And then we can actually go ahead and just grab this next row of stuff. All right, uh, except for the, oh, actually, no, we do need the red concrete, okay. So, first, so, so now what we can do is, um, uh, so yeah, we can go ahead, uh, we're going to put um, oak trap, or not oak trap doors, but oak signs just along the side of the bus. Uh, this is basically meant to be oak, not, except at the very back, you want to leave it. So it's just like right under the windows, and then like just beside the door like this. So then on this side, it's literally just... Oh, actually, so on this side, it's actually different because we have a stop sign. So you want to leave a uh, gap of one. You want to put a red concrete, and then just beside everything, you want to just put the... Uh, um, is where you want to start putting the sign. So again, and then not at the back here. At this side here, you actually want to put acacia buttons for turn signals. That's what you want to have right there. Uh, oak sign just wants to go uh, at the uh, the front here for a license plate. You could also do it uh, at the back if you want to as well. I like to do it in this corner, uh, you, but you could also put it down here if you want to as well. Um, all right, and then at the top here, you want to go ahead and fill up the top with slab just so you have more headroom. All right, and then basically a gap of one from the slab going inwards. Um, you want to just delete the block and put an iron shaft door. Those are going to be the roof exits, so if you get in a crash, you can crawl out of there. All right, all right. So now, um, well, some of these materials are actually quite useless unless we have other materials. So we can put away the dark oak sign. We can actually go ahead and grab item frame. Oops. Um, and then go ahead and put away your um, oak sign. Grab birch sign. Put away your iron trap door and grab iron bars. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the stop sign here. So iron bars just wants to go on this left side here, and then birch sign on the front. You can actually write stop on there if you want to. Um, and then in the corners here, so you want to put item frames here in these corners. All right, and then left side, redstone, right side, honey block. Those are meant to be like the orange and uh, red flashing lights. Uh, you want to do the same thing on the back of the bus here, just like this. So you want to do red and orange, just like that. And you also want to put item frames here on these corners. And then this is where you want to put uh, red stained glass pane for brake lights. Okay, so now, once you've taken care of all that, um, I mean, that's kind of like most of the materials used, so now we can actually go ahead and grab um, uh, the blackstone button, lever, birch trap door, wither skeleton skull, not the iron bars, we already did that, uh, the gray carpet, birch button, um, the, a, uh, let's see, the item frame, music disc, redstone repeater. Actually, wait, hold on. We actually put away the redstone repeater. We actually need a, just a random block, uh, and I'll explain why. So basically, uh, we're going to put mirrors, so it's just going to go right above the front wheels. So you just want to put a block, and then a weather skeleton skull is just facing inward like this. Uh, you can also do white if you want to as well, just like the white, the just regular skeleton skull. And then you delete the block and place levers, and those are mirrors. Um, at the front here, you want to do a birch button. That's actually meant to be the Chevrolet logo. You could also do red for the GMC logo if you want to. So if you want a GMC instead of a Chevy, if you're more of a GMC guy or whatever, or a GMC person. Um, so like I can put mangrove button here and that kind of looks like the GMC logo. Just whatever you want. So if you want GMC or Chevy, that's like customizable there. Um, and then what else could you do? Oh, and then you actually can grab stone button for, I don't know. Do I seriously not have stone button? That's so weird. Um, you want to put stone button on the wheels, of course. I feel like every vehicle... I, I do this in literally every vehicle tutorial, because literally they don't look good without buttons, so that's why you want to put buttons on the wheels. On the sides of the stairs here, you want to put birch trap door, just to kind of kind of separate it, I guess. And then just behind the mirrors here, you want to put black stone buttons. Those are going to be the, the doors you can actually open and close them. Well, you can't actually open them and close them, but that's just what it's meant to look like. But, um, okay, and the next thing... Uh, so we can actually go ahead and get inside the bus here. 
Uh, and in front of the, this is the driver's seat, so you want to put a item frame and a music disc, and then on the far right side you want to put a lever, that's like so you can open, the bus driver can open and close the doors. Uh, the so gray carpet is just to go in the middle here, that's like, you know, the aisle, you know, kind of, because usually the aisle's like lined up with the um, uh, carpet. Oh, and also, how do I not have iron door? I swear, I'm missing so many materials today. Uh, but let's go ahead and grab the redstone repeater. Uh, oh, and then actually grab back your stone button. I forgot something. And then your iron door. So before we put iron door, let's go ahead and put the buttons here and here so you can get in and out of the bus. And then uh, go ahead and put the redstone repeater here in the middle. This is a gear shift. And then finally, an iron door right there to finish off the bus completely. And uh, yeah, actually, I think that is the entire... A uh, small school bus 100% completed so yeah um, again if you're looking for you know just to make the actual small bus or if you want just if you don't want to make my giant school bus like this one I mean this is kind of turned into a prison bus this won't be a tutorial the prison bus but I mean the school bus is a tutorial but not the prison version I'll probably make something different but you can see it's really big it's got a lot of materials you know it's really complicated so if you want to make a much smaller version then here you go you make a much easier version of a school bus so so yeah um hope you guys did end up enjoying this tutorial if you did smash the like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, also turn on post notifications if you uh, uh want if you so you don't miss an awesome tutorial like this one um but anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next video